What is up Shark Army, it's me GameShark and welcome to my Animal Crossing New Horizons beginner guide where I will be showing you 20 things that you should always do in the game in order to make good progress and have an easy but enjoyable time. So let's get straight into things starting with the first thing. Make sure to always focus on your Nook Miles challenges every single day. Nook Miles is a currency new to the Animal Crossing series. It is a rewards program where you earn miles by completing challenges that appear in the Nook Miles app. These miles can be exchanged for items and activities such as a Nook Inc. uniform, DIY recipes, Nook Mile tickets to go on mystery tours, paying off your getaway package and other services. You will earn Nook Miles passively just by living your island life and doing things like catching bugs and fish, crafting tools and talking to the villagers. Sometimes you'll even earn miles for doing something completely unexpected, like letting a floating present fall into the water. Try and pay off your tent as soon as possible so you can start the process to build your house. This unlocks Nook Miles Plus, which will allow you to earn extra miles by doing daily tasks which can be done throughout the entire day. And everyone needs miles. Doing these daily will give you a good amount ready for the day ahead. Also, the first five Nook Miles Plus tasks will be worth double, so always try to do those for a daily boost. You can get free daily Nook Miles at the Nook Stop Terminal. Be sure to always check in at the Resident Services Terminal each day to earn extra Nook Miles, as the more days in a row you check in, the more miles you get. Always shake the trees before chopping them and make sure you have a bug net in hand when doing this just in case the wasps or bugs appear. This will make it easier to catch the wasps without getting stung, but shaking trees will also give you twigs, bells and even furniture. Don't chop down all of your trees on your island, leave some around because even though there are everywhere and some of them are in the way, you will need the wood for multiple things at the start of the game as the days go on. If you're going to chop down a tree, move or replace it elsewhere instead and you can do this simply by eating some fruit and then using your shovel to move the tree and planting it somewhere else. If you use a flimsy or a stone axe, this will never chop down the tree, it will only gather and collect the wood from it. You can create magic money trees on your island. Every single day there will be one glowing dig spot hiding around on your island on the ground, which you can dig over with your shovel and you will find bells inside. But that is not all. Do not recover the hole. Instead, if you place more bells back into it, this will create a money tree in time, giving you lots of bells for great profit. I usually put 10,000 bells back in and that means you will get 30,000 bells every couple of days. Once you have the store built, check it daily for new stock. Every day there will be new furniture, wallpaper and flooring. Also, your friend shops have different stock to you, so do make sure to go over and visit them and check to see what they are selling. Craft the slingshot as soon as possible so you can pop the balloon presents. These will appear throughout the day and they are just floating balloons with a hanging present and if you pop these, you will get new clothing or furniture items daily. Don't worry too much about where you place your villagers, houses and buildings because as time goes on and your town evolves, you can move things around to suit your needs. So don't spend hours picking the perfect place just yet. Expand your inventory as soon as possible. The backpacks you see for sale though are just cosmetics, so bear that in mind. These will not increase your inventory space. You will need to purchase the upgrades from the Nook Stop Machine. The first one you can get right away and it will cost you 5,000 miles. I recommend paying off your first loan to Tom Nook before spending any Nook miles on pocket space though, because having a house will trigger more progress around your island and it will grant you an in owned storage space for stuff that you don't want to carry around. The first pocket upgrade will add a third row for a total of 30 slots. Always have one of every fruit on your island. Your own island starts with your native fruit, but going on mystery tours or visiting friends will allow you to find new foreign fruits. Collect them and plant them on your own island so you can always have a supply of each fruit. There are apples, cherries, pears, peaches and oranges to collect. And you can also find coconuts and bamboo which can also be planted on your island for extra cash. And just to know that foreign fruits that aren't native to your island will sell for a lot more. So the more foreign fruit you plant, the more bells you earn. And 
always sell your native fruit on somebody else's island because doing this will double your bells. So go to your friend's island with a bag full of your native fruits and cash in. Be sure to always check around on your island for visitors. Time to time and most days you will get people rock up and visit you and you may not even know as they don't hang around outside your house. They could be anywhere on the island. So always check in case you miss someone. These people can be anyone from Gulliver, from the Wisp and some special merchants that sell special items. Some of these visitors will have quests and you will get free furniture or something for doing it and some other guys will sell amazing exclusive items that you won't see in your own shop. There will be random dig spots daily on your islands which look like star shaped holes. These are important as they hold special rare fossils which are required at the museum. There are a total of 80 fossils to find so get your shovel and go find them all. Always search the beaches. Not only will you find shells and corals and other forage goods, but you will also find one glass bottle every day somewhere on your beach. These will give you a new DIY recipe and we all need those. Always save all of your first finds. Fish, bugs and fossils, they'll be all over your islands in abundance. And selling them might seem like the only thing to do with them. But in fact, you will need one each of these for Blabber's Museum. You won't be here just yet. But as this is a real time game, it's a lot easier to save the first finds so you can donate them later rather than selling it for quick bells and then struggling to find it again later in the game. In fact, some fish and bugs are only found in certain months. So you'll have to wait a whole year for it to come back around. So if you do catch a new bug or fish or find a new fossil just keep it ready for the museum make sure to hit your rocks every single day for important resources such as iron clay and stone there will be at least four big rocks scattered on your island and you can only get the resources from them once each day so don't forget them as iron especially is one of the most important items in the game for a little tip if you dig two holes behind you before you hit the rocks you will get a perfect gather without moving your character and you can obtain the full eight resources also to note one of the rocks on your island will be a money rock which when you hit it it will give you bells instead of materials so using the perfect technique which i told you will come in handy especially with this special rock always keep your gold nuggets that you find from the rocks though never sell them they might be tempting to cash in and get that good money but gold nuggets are rare and they will be needed later in the game so stock up on them and keep them ready for when you need to use them there's lots of other ways to make money in the game Talk to your islanders every day, check in on them and see how they are doing, speaking to them daily will make you become better friends with them, which means there is less chance of them wanting to leave your island. And after a few days of speaking to them, you will get the option to give them gifts, and on giving them one, they might return the favour with something special. Also check in at your islanders homes once a day. Sometimes they will be working away at the workbench on a special project and they might share with you their DIY recipe that they are working on. If you find any junk from fishing, such as tin cans or boots, do not trash or sell them. Always keep them as they will be used for some DIY recipes. But also, if you leave a boot or a tin can placed on the floor, you might one day find a few little insect friends wanting to home them, which makes for a perfect catch and a new find. And make sure to always check the recycling bin in the resident services. Whatever is in there is yours to take and most of it is good to sell. But sometimes you may find something to decorate your home with. So that is it, that is my 20 things that you should always do in this game. Of course there might be some other ones, important things that I've missed, I'm still new to this game as well. But they're the 20 things that I find I need to do every single day that I log in. I always do these 20 things first. If there's any more that I've missed, please put them in the comments below, let everyone see. Help everyone out who's just playing this game. I know there's a lot of veterans out there on Animal Crossing and you probably mastered this game. But this is more for the beginners who have just started to play this game and uh, no idea how to play it like me. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you found 
found some of them tips useful. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. I will be streaming this game at least once or twice a week because uh, it's such a chill game and when we're all in lockdown right now and this crazy pandemic that's going on, uh, what better way to spend your days inside by playing this game and uh, streaming it. So yeah, if you do want to watch me stream Animal Crossing, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when I am alive. I should be streaming tomorrow if all is well, so yeah, hopefully see some of you guys there. Thanks for watching, stay safe more importantly, please don't go outside guys, just stay at home and wait for all this to blow over. But until then, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Take my hand and walk beside me in a world of thunder, fear is Bye.